How's it going, you guys? Welcome back to Unorthodox Savings. So, the year is finally coming to an end, and I'm sure some of you are probably looking up New Year's resolutions on how to change your life for the better. And I feel like it's only fair after the year we just went through that I share my personal best investments for 2021 and what I'm going to be doing investment wise. Now, as always, this is not investment advice. I am not legally allowed to be giving you investment advice, so this is what I'm doing personally. So if you copy what I do, do not come back here because I, I will not be found. So without wasting any more time, this brings me to number one, which is cryptocurrencies. And my plan for cryptocurrencies is to invest $100 a week into Bitcoin to dollar cost average. Now, I know cryptocurrencies overall is a skeptical investment for some. Uh, some people are all for it. Some people absolutely despise it. And this is something I'm going to do. I mean, right now, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin specifically, is in an all-time high. So it's getting all the hype, all the news. Even if it drops and goes away, I'm still going to invest my money into it. Because um, I personally do believe in the next coming years, this is going to be a great investment. So after all my money is invested, I transfer my money over to a digital wallet called BlockFi, where I get an 8.6% return just for keeping my money in this wallet, beating the S&P 500 and also still gaining money and losing money depending on what Bitcoin itself does. I buy and sell my cryptocurrencies through an app called Coinbase. Now you can use other apps such as Gemini, Blockfolio, and Binance. These are very well-known apps that have a good amount of safety features so you don't lose your money and you don't get your information stolen. Obviously, do this at your own risk. And I do wanna say that they do take a fee for when you buy and sell the cryptocurrencies. You can look at this as a way to pay the miners for physically mining the cryptocurrency for you. This may sound confusing, and I'm not going to go into crazy details on this. I'll leave a link to my cryptocurrency video right here if you need any more information or questions on how to buy sell and how everything works number two is for my beginning investors and something I'm going to continue to do every single year until I retire and that's opening up and investing six thousand dollars a year into my Roth IRA now I have investments and holdings into VU, VTI, BND and Tesla I also have a video of that right I'm gonna leave right here on starting a Roth IRA but every year I invest six thousand dollars and I dollar cost average every month to put money in there because it's a tax-free way of becoming a millionaire. Also, if you are younger, this is very good because you're in a lower tax bracket. So for this to make sense for you guys, the older you get, hopefully the more money you make, and this way you save money on taxes, and when you're 59 and a half, and you go to take this money out, you don't owe anybody anything. I use M1 Finance for my Roth IRA because it really is the most passive way to invest into my Roth IRA and my dividend portfolio because it reinvests the dividends for you and it takes a weekly or a monthly withdrawal from my bank account and invests it into my portfolio without me having to do any work at all. Also, I do like M1 Finance is because they were the first brokerage to really offer partial shares and this is great if you either A, don't have enough money to buy a full share of a certain stock you want or B, if you want to divide up your portfolio into percentages. So if you wanted 10% into Google, Apple, and Tesla, and then you just keep breaking it down, you can divide it up the way you want. Also, if your employer has a 401k plan where they match you dollar for dollar, that's a no-brainer to invest into that first because you're literally doubling your money. So if you invest $6,000 into it, they are also investing $6,000 into it. Most places do have a limit of how much you can invest, so you have to ask your employer how much that is. But for me, it's $6,000, so right there, it's $12,000 invested for me without me having to do any work. So in total, out of my own pocket, I invest $12,000 into retirement alone. Number three is for my dividend investors and people who are part of the FIRE community and who live frugally. You guys know this very well. Dividend investing is a great way to invest your money because it literally pays you monthly quarterly or yearly just for keeping your money into a company now there's a bunch of dividend stocks you can invest into i won't go into great details again to save you guys time but i use m1 finance as well for the same reasons that i reinvest my money and my dividends for me without me having to do any work and the goal of this is to one day retire early to live off my investments and not have to worry about working again so I invest $100 a week to dollar cost average into my dividend portfolio, but I have holdings in Tesla, Johnson & Johnson, Microsoft, Disney, Apple, Intel, IBM, VU, Amazon, Walmart, and PSE&G, which is a utility company in my state. I live in New Jersey, and I just personally believe that is a good investment. That is not investment advice. 
Number four is real estate. Real estate is a very good investment, especially for people who like to physically see their asset and what they're investing in. Some people are visual learners and they like to work with their hands. And this is a really good way of doing so. I also have a video I'm gonna leave here of how much house I can afford, where it really breaks down to how you can calculate a price of a home to see that's an investment for you. Now, I will admit there are some strict real estate laws being put into place because of everything happening around the world. If you want, watch Graham Stephan's most recent video on why that's a big effect on us. But overall, I still see it's a good investment because 80% of all millionaires own real estate. And there's a huge reason behind it is because you're getting constant tax write-offs, constant equity in the home, and then the appreciation of the home overall. So you are saving and making money in multiple ways. And then there's also a bunch of side ways you can make money on real estate. But overall, the return on investment on real estate is usually much higher than any stock or digital currency you can invest in. And you really do have a physical way of manipulating that to your favor. So number five is credit card churning and side hustles. Now this is for the investors who either don't have enough money or aren't old enough to start investing or see or just really good at selling things. And now I still do this myself because in my free time, I find myself having a lot of fun doing these things. So credit card churning is literally just applying for a credit card because you're trying to build your credit up or get a higher credit limit so you can buy more things and they offer you really good bonuses and a lot of money. Now I know I'm plugging a lot of my videos here, but this is just to save you guys of time. So right here I have my five best credit cards for 2021 and I put a ton of research into giving you guys the best cards for any kind of need you may have. Now side hustles are really good because if you're passionate about something that is not really looked at as a mainstream career or a job, you can do this to make money. So I use apps like Facebook Marketplace, LetGo, eBay, and Fiverr to sell things I either buy to make more money, so resell them, or I sell a service. So for 2021, what I'm going to do, now this isn't an ad or an affiliate link at all, but I just use this because I like it. On all my thumbnails, I use an app called Canva. It's free, you can use a website, and I just make all my thumbnails on there and it's very easy. So on the app Fiverr, you can literally make people thumbnails for $5 to $15 a thumbnail. And Canva makes it super easy. And a lot of people who are doing this either A, just don't have a lot of time to make thumbnails for their YouTube videos, or they're just younger, they don't really know what they're doing yet. And this is a really easy way to make money. They pay you, you make them the thumbnail, you send it, you don't have to meet up with anybody. It's very, very simple. So for 2021, that's what I'm going to do in my spare time. And you can literally make a thumbnail in five to 10 minutes. Lastly, but not least, after dollar cost averaging and investing to all my retirement portfolios, I end up investing $22,400 a year. So I still have money left over for living expenses, foods, and other things to make me have fun and stay alive. But any money I have over, which I calculated to be around 5% of my total net worth, I invest into individual stocks or spec stocks that I have fun for. So I use Robinhood for this. So for 2021, I'm going to invest into sectors like electric vehicles, cannabis stocks and other medical stocks that can help us out in the short term with everything that's happening. Now, obviously these are no brainer topics and sectors, but the reason I do this is because it gets so much hype in the short term, I can invest into these companies that I do my research on, make a decent amount of money, and then I sell them, and then I put them into my retirement accounts and my dividend portfolios, and that's any profits I make, because sometimes I do lose money, and that's important to tell you guys. If anything like this interests you, or you're trying to get more research on stocks, I have a free Discord link down below. You can literally do anything you want in there. You can send memes, promote social media, your YouTube channel, but once a week, I'm just going to send like a screenshot or a list of stocks that I'm watching. Again, it's not investment advice, but some people are just like interested, like, hey, like, what's Joe investing in? And I talk about it on YouTube anyway, so I might as well fill you guys in. Now you guys can drop information on stocks in there. You can communicate with each other. And my, the whole point of creating this is to create a community with you guys. So the last thing I do is I keep my money into a high interest savings account, and that's any money that I'm not investing. So I do have a good amount of money in a savings account right now, because I'm currently looking to buy a home. And as more experienced investors know, interest rates for savings accounts are at an all time low, but I feel like it's important to at least earn something. And this is where people who either don't know what to invest in yet or are doing the same thing as me, this is like the bare minimum of what you guys should be doing. So the bank I'm currently using for a high interest savings account is Ally Bank. This is not a advertisement, but I personally like them because their customer service is really good 
and I like their app, their layout, everything they have to offer. You can also invest through them. So they, they're kind of a one-stop shop for a bank account. But that's all I have for you guys today. So if you have any questions or anything like that, comment down below. I'll be more than happy to answer you. Um, as of right now, I'm just shy of 500 subscribers. And I honestly didn't think I'd ever get this far. So I'm very grateful for all of you. I really do appreciate all the support you guys show me. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.